we're looking at here is buffalo grass, and buffalo grass is native to the high plains of Kansas and Nebraska and South Dakota. Buffalo grass is unique among the turf grasses that we grow in Kansas in that the fact that there are separate male plants and separate female plants. And this is important for a couple reasons. The first is what we're looking at here. A lot of people will think that these seed heads sticking above the ground are uh, seed heads when in fact they're male flowers. So a lot of times I'll get people thinking that they're harvesting these seed heads and that they're going to replant these seed heads next year and grow more buffalo grass. And in fact that these are male flowers and these will not grow any buffalo grass next year. The second reason why it's important that there's separate male plants and female plants uh, has to do with appearance of buffalo grass. Typically female only varieties of buffalo grass typically have darker green color, have a denser growth habit, and look and perform better than varieties of buffalo grass that have both male and female plants in the same stand. So some people will choose to plant female only varieties so that they won't have these flowers sticking up because some people think that looks weedy or it might look more like a prairie. Other people choose to plant this type of buffalo grass because it looks like a prairie and they enjoy that appearance of the buffalo grass. Uh, the female flower is located real close to the ground and this is the part that forms the seed. Typically when you're buying buffalo grass seed, you're buying uh, a mixture of both male plants and female plants. If you want to have a buffalo grass stand that is pure female plants and doesn't have those male flowers sticking up, you can only plant that buffalo grass by planting plugs or planting buffalo grass sod. Typically the female propagated clones are the better looking turf grass varieties. They don't have the, the male flowers sticking up and they have a denser growth habit and a darker green color. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.